So this is uh, I'm at my run on the iPhone. Uh, we also have the application for Android and BlackBerry. Um, here you can see is kind of your dashboard or your home screen. Um, and there's a number of key features um, in terms of filtering, looking at your stats, looking at your routes, looking at your training. So I'll kind of jump through these. First is the profile. And the profile is going to pull up my uh, individual user. Um, it's going to show me the total time that I've logged in the system as well as the total mileage. And if I'm currently, if I have any goals that I'm headed towards, it's going to show me how complete I am towards those goals as well as my individual stats. When I go back, um, I also have things like routes. So here it'll load my 10 previous routes. Uh, you can see I did a bike ride on Sunday, a Saturday ride out of uh, Mellow Johnny's. So I'll select that one and you'll be able to see the route as well as the elevation data for the route that I did. So this is a 52 mile bike ride down south and then up around Westlake uh, on 360 and back in. You can see that route. I can then filter and go into my training and look at individual training uh, workouts that I've done. So again I'll go into the Saturday ride and you can see calories burned, speed, uh, again, I can get to the route, I can share it with others and challenge people to do the same route, tweet it, or update my Facebook settings. So go back. Uh, I can easily invite friends, so I can come into the system, I can go in to find new friends, and I can search on my address book, and it will show me current MapMyFitness users as well as new people that are not currently MapMyFitness users or MapMyRun users. So I'll go back, or you can search on individual people, and then I can see my friends' activities. So I can see activities like Facebook in kind of a news feed format that my friends are posting in the system, uh, which is nice just for me to check in and help motivate them and keep them motivated. Uh, so I can quickly get in and see those stats. Um, live tracking essentially allows me, who, people that I'm friends with, to see specifically um, where they are. So as an example, if I wanted to watch a friend or I was going to meet a friend, I'd be able to watch them live as we converge to meet. Um, and certainly then the big features are to record a manual workout. So I can go into manual workout and record a gym workout that maybe it's lifting weights or a quick workout that I want to enter that I didn't record using the GPS or using the heart rate strap. Um, when I come into record, what you're going to see is this is the stats screen and you can see right now that with the heart rate strap and this little connector right here, I'm actually seeing my live heart rate data. Uh, and you can see that there are things like time, distance, speed. I can actually switch these things out to be things like pace, and then I can get average pace, best pace, um, and that type of thing. If I go to the map view, it's going to use the embedded GPS in the phone to identify the location of where we are. And then once I hit the start button, it's actually going to record my route as I'm out uh, running or cycling or walking or whatever I might be doing. Um, and then when I'm done, it'll hit, st st hit stop or if I pause during the workout, and I can essentially record that. If I want to take a photo to a specific location, I can use the photo button, and it will remember all my photos as I go along. The stat screen is, again, the layout that we just went through. And then the iPod screen is essentially an integration of my music. So I can go in and I can change my music. I can shuffle songs, playlists that I have in the system. If I go back to the map screen and I want to select a route that I've previously done, I can just hit the plus button and I can go through and I can look and I can say, okay, well, I want to do this long uh, Mellow Johnny's bike ride or, or anything. And you'll see that it's actually going to preload the route that I did on my phone. So it'll show where I went. It'll allow me, if I zoom in, it'll show me the trace of that route and I can simply ride or run against that route that I previously had in the system. So when I'm ready to go, I just hit start and then I'd start running against that red line. But I also don't have to use that. I can, you know, easily just run against a, a new route. I could just, I'll just run out here in a minute and show that. Um, there's a bunch of settings and things that I can sort of adjust, but those are the main features of the, of the application for you to use to count calories and record all of your workouts indoors and outdoors.